It's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts. Oh, I just did a check there if I was recording. I think I am. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. I am doing all right. Um, I have to say the house still feels very strange without our Mr Darcy, but we are getting there. Um, I think the, the little cats, well, they're not so little. The younger cats are feeling... Um, quite sad too they're very clingy and it's not that they're lonely because they've got each other and they've got us around but um yeah I think they're quite unsettled as to where he is so however I'm sure that will that will pass too um anyway I'm here for a wee sort of catch-up video so I've got a VR to do and then I want to show you some bits and pieces I've been making so my VR is for the lovely Andrea Andrea the Cumbrian Crafter. You'll find her linked in the description box below. This is uh, just to let you know in case you haven't already spotted it that she's having a wee giveaway. So this is for 400 subscribers. She's flown past 400 I think um, and she is running a, a little giveaway to celebrate that. So it closes on the 25th of October, so you've still got, I don't know what, it's the 4th today and this will go up maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, this week. So you've still got loads of time and you don't have to send her anything for this one. All she would like you to do is, on the video for the giveaway, she would like you to say, please enter me. And then she would also like you to have commented on at least five of her recent videos. So it's not just a kind of, oh yeah, I want to win that challenge, but actually you don't really watch your follower. So yeah, so that's what her, that's all you have to do. So that the giveaway video should be linked in the description box. So you can go straight to that one um, and also her channel. And she makes the most amazing things, Andrea. Um, she is the queen of the mushrooms. She loves, um, not in a magic mushroom kind of way, or maybe, I don't know, but she loves anything mushroom related and she makes lots of really beautiful projects, little books and albums and all sorts of, um, all sorts of things, collage, ATCs, um, and Andrea is one of those channels, she's just got this very calming way of telling you what she's doing so if you're feeling a bit stressed out and life feels a bit overwhelming and hectic I promise you that Andrea's video if you sit and watch one of hers or a few you will feel yourself kind of <sighs> slowing down a bit the shoulders come down you start to breathe a bit less um a bit less quickly and you just feel a bit better so if you haven't checked her out before, please do. I'm sure that everybody who follows me follows Andrea already. But just in case, go and check her out. She's a lovely human being. Um, and then this is kind of following on from, from Andrea because I had a go at making something that she had made. So this was... Um, now, it was the first one of our autumn uh, Halloween collab that lovely Lisa, a crafting diva, has arranged. And Andrea shared a couple of little um, ephemera folders. I can't remember what it was called. It's a tutorial from Scrimpy Mummy, Mommy, something like that. I think it's, eh, whatever. I'll link that to you. <laughs> But I had a go because Andrea made such a gorgeous job. Now, I still need to do a bit of decorating, but I couldn't stop myself from putting some bits and bobs in. So um, I've been very kindly sent some, like, ephemera bits in Happy Mail. So I pop, I just popped everything in there so far. And um, it's sat on my desk and it's making me awfully happy. So yeah. So if you are interested in these kind of things, she's got a real knack for finding um, fun projects, sharing lovely tutorials, but also sharing things that she's made from other people's tutorials too. So I did that. Um, then 
The other thing I was going to share with you that I've been making, so lovely Jane, who is Big Mama 65, I think, on YouTube, um, we do wee swaps, we've done a few little swappy things, and in, um, I think it was, we did a wee memory deck swap, she sent me a little bag of um, die cut elements to make up um, little Halloween cars. So the other day I was kind of, couldn't think what I wanted to do. And, <coughs> excuse me, couldn't think what I wanted to do. And I came across that little bag of wee bits and so I just put them together. I'm not sure if I did it the right way, but quite cute. So I made this little one. I should show it you on a bit of blank card, shouldn't I? So this one. So she sent me all the elements that I've used for this. The only thing I've done is kind of decided where I was gluing things and I've just added a little bit of white gel pen. So I put the little pink... Um, spiderweb in the window and hung the little spider on it and I gave him some little eyes. <laughs> I think he's quite cute. Um, something horrendous has happened in this car. That there's all this blood dripping down um, but there is a bottle of some kind of medicine so maybe maybe the person took this and it stopped the bleeding or something. You never know. So yeah and the license plate is yikes. Yikes always makes me think of um Scooby-Doo. I don't know if they said it, but it makes me think of that. So yeah, so there was two, enough to make two ones in black. So this one, I cut it, um, cut the blood down and used it on the kind of bonnet of the car. And she gave me this really cute little, like a little skull man. It's almost like the, um, you know, the sort of scream mask, that sort of face. There's a whole load of um, bottles, potion bottles. Again, there's a wee spider. And this one is, the license plate is RIP. So yeah, so that is the two little black ones. And then she gave me enough to make two with this beautiful um, like spiderweb orange paper. So this one has got, there's a little bit of blood. There's a couple of potion bottles. There is... A bit of, can you see the bit of um, spider web in the back? And there's these like hands, zombie hands or something that are reaching up. Um, so that was that one. And then the last one has got, it's got one of those men. It's got another bit of um, spider web in the back. I had one hand left over and one wee spider. So yeah, so I thought they were really cute. I've not decided what I'm going to do with them yet. I wondered if they would be... I could probably put them on a memory decks, maybe. Um, really cute. So thank you so much, Jane. That was really good fun. Um, it took me a little bit of fiddling about to think where everything went. The, the little... Um, these tires that had me flummoxed for a while because I was like, what are these little little sort of squares? What are they for? And then I was like, oh, they're the tires. So, so that was good fun. I did that. And then the last video I put up was my card for the what is it called? One Sketch Challenge 23. I shared this one with the Pocus Pocus ladies and I said oh I might have a go at making some ATCs with that sketch so I have so I've got four of them so I've got two like this and two like this so I thought I could just I see I've actually got three and Three and a laugh because one's not put together yet because I thought I could show you what the elements were. So I've got uh, the back is 
thick black card and that measures two and a half by three and a half inches and then I did a white card layer which is like two just under it's like a an eighth of an inch less at the top and at the side if you know what I mean then I ran it through an embossing folder which can you believe it? I'll actually put it away this is very unlike me putting things away so it's just a texty scripty embossing folder and then I ran it over with my little inky tool which is kind of always on my desk and at, with a browning of some sort this is the vintage photo but it's definitely got like walnut stain and all sorts on there so so I just ran that over to kind of not work with white and it really highlights the um text that's the word so I'm gonna glue that on I wonder if I can lower you a wee bit probably that is the limit I'm getting to the end of this glue so I just glue that on then I cut a little piece of patterned paper now this is from it's from this notepad which I've had for I would guess two years and I've hardly used any of it I, I had like a monthly sort of subscription you got one pad a month from this pretty papers people I can't remember what it was called I want to say it was something box but anyway and so it's beautiful so I've just cut because you know what I'm like I don't like to um I don't like to be extravagant with my pattern papers I like to hoard them so, I've got a bit of that. Oops. So stick that down there. And then I've made up a little panel. So this was just a little um, piece of white cardstock. I had this like harlequin kind of stamp from, um, it was a paper craft society box. So I did a little bit of kind of ombre inking on it, stamped it, and then this is a little Tim Holtz leaf with, I cut it out in white, and I cut the veining of the leaf out in a sort of, um, it's like a matte gold, if you know what I mean. And then I just cut the little bow out in orange. Um... And I've just gone round the white I coloured up with my tricolour blends and the sort of darker coral mix. And then I just went round the outside with another alcohol pen. I think it was a dark sort of golden. And then stick it on like so. And then I just added the three little dots with the Nouveau. in gold Ta-da! so I have got four of those one is earmarked for somebody who I've already said I would do a wee ATC swap with but if anybody else wants a little autumnal ATC from me with maybe a few wee extra bits thrown in nothing too exciting like it'll still be just a wee envelope but maybe some wee bits of papers and or some stickers or something um then yeah let me know in the comments and if we don't have each other's um postal address to swap then i will put my email address in the description box for this video and that's the best one that i do look at slightly more often than the other one not all the time you know um so yeah that's what i've been up to i just want to show you these as well i found these on ebay 
um, do you remember Monica sent me this gorgeous card and it's in pride of place on my desk because it's just like it's like if Darcy was very fancy and he got a fancy hat and a wee ruff and a nice little jacket and waistcoat um, and I love it and so I was kind of searching to see where if there was other sort of similar cats because I mean I love cats and a cat in an outfit my own cats wouldn't let me do that to them um so on ebay i think this was a mix of two different packs and i'm sure they're printables that somebody's just made them into nice little cards but they're gorgeous Look at that. so cute um and that is a wee bit that's a wee bit darcy-ish <laughs> it's like pumpkin wizard cat or something like witchy the broomstick I mean I mean gorgeous and then there was a few others so I think I ordered two different packs and they were about three pound each and I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but you know sometimes quite a lot of the time I'll just something like this just it's a lovely wee thing to look at. I've like just really enjoyed it. Have a jolly Halloween. Sweets and spooky. And cats. <laughs> no tricks, just treats. Black Cat Society. How cute is that? Oh, adorable. Look at this beautiful pumpkin. I think the pumpkins were maybe in the same set as the cats. And the other ones were maybe a Halloween -y set. <laughs> Look at these, they! <gasps> Creep it real! Um, it's the most spectacular time of the year. Love it, love it. Scarecrow kisses and harvest wishes. And tis the season to be spooky. So yeah, so I thought I would just share them. I will link the um, seller on, it was just eBay I think, so if you if you fancy them, they weren't very expensive and they arrived really quickly, and if, you know, you just need a little, a little bit of a cat in a cute hat, if that would make your week a little bit easier, then I say go for it. Um, so yeah, I have also... I have been working on my little, um, you know, my little folio thing that I shared on the Halloween Autumn collab. I have um, I've put together, I've nearly finalised it, I think, my little kind of bucket listy things I want to do this season. I'm kind of giving myself till the middle of November and... Um, I'm already, I've scored a couple, well, not scored a couple of things off, but I wanted to have a sort of autumnal seasonal drink um, and I've done that and I wanted to go and watch something spooky at the cinema and, I want, and I've done that and I have picked up my first seasonal read so yeah, I'm, I'm off to a fly and start with that. So we went to see um, A Haunting in Venice last night at the cinema and we were on our way and I said to my husband you know I think we should see if we can get because there's a Starbucks up the stairs in our cinema um I said we should maybe see if we can get like a one of those seasonal drinks they've got and I don't like coffee and none of their all their seasonal drinks were like coffee options so I said to him I said oh I said to the guy that worked there you don't have any of those in a non-coffee he said, well, I could do them caffeine free. I was like, mm, yeah, no, I just don't like coffee. He's like, I could do the Frappuccino one without the shot of coffee in it. Just the sort of milky. So I had that. So I got this very <laughs> orange um, cup to sit in the cinema. And uh, it was really nice. It was very sweet and delicious. My husband had a... What did he have? A pumpkin spice latte or something with oat milk because he's 
we think Dairy isn't really agreeing with them. So, so yeah, so that was that. A haunting in Venice. I really enjoyed it. It was about the maximum level of creepiness and sort of jump scares that I can really cope with. Not that there was loads of jump scares, but it was really creepy and spooky and I really enjoyed it. Um, at the end of what my husband said, I quite like to go to Venice. I was like, yeah, I would as well. I was like, I'm not going in October though. I'll go in the height of summer when it's not um, looking quite so creepy and spooky, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that was good. Um, and I've picked up Dracula, which I've always wanted to read. Um, so now I have started it. Um, I've not read an awful lot of classics, but um, the last couple of December's, like one t one year I read Frankenstein, which I really liked, and one year I read Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, which I really liked. So I had Dracula on my bookshelf, so I thought I'll just pick it up. So yeah, so that is life with me. I don't know um, if anybody will still be watching by this point in proceedings, but thank you if you are. If you are, what could you say? Uh, include something about pumpkin pumpkin spice in your comment and then I'll know if anybody's still alive at the end of this. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed my little rambling video please hit like. Don't forget to check out Andrea's giveaway if you haven't yet and um, if you're interested in swapping one of these ETCs then do please leave me a comment and then if we don't have our each other's um, what is the word I'm looking for? Postal addresses. Then drop me a wee email. But if you leave me a comment, then I'll know you're going to. Then I'll keep my eyes peeled for it. So yeah, take care now. Have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.